What's going on guys, Matty Russell here and welcome to my backyard. In today's video, we're gonna look at number one of the five essentials you need to know in order to successfully breed quail at home. Now before we jump into the video, let's look at what those five essentials are. The first essential is a breeding cage. The second essential is a feeding system. The third essential is a watering system. The fourth essential is an incubator. And the fifth essential is a grow out cage for your new chicks. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to build your own breeding cage, so let's get stuck into it. All right guys, well as you can see here behind me, we have a breeding cage that I have just recently built and I'm going to show you how I built it today. Now this particular cage is designed to have three separate pens. In each pen there's going to be one male and anywhere from three to four females giving me a total of nine to twelve females in order to get a good head start on the breeding system. Now each pen is approximately 35 centimeters high or one foot high by 900 millimeters or three foot wide. The first thing I did was got one of these trusty old utility shelves from the local hardware store. I was able to pick this one up for about $49. I had it laying around and decided to use it instead of spending all the extra money on extra timber and save myself some cost in the process. Essentially what I did was made the cage doors to suit the dimensions of the shelving unit. In order to make these doors, I took myself a two x four and ripped it right down the guts to get more bang for my buck. I then measured them to fit the dimensions of the inside of the shelf, cut them to size and screwed the four pieces individually together. I then took a bit of this hardware mesh, which you again can pick up from your local hardware store and attached it to the back of the cage door using some U-nails. I then took some 50 millimeter hinges and screwed them to the top of the door. Once the hinges were in place, I then aligned the cage door with the cage, marked the holes of the top section of the hinge with the Sharpie, drilled some pilot holes and attached it with some screws. I then took the deadbolt locking mechanism marked out the holes with a sharpie, pre-drilled the holes and screwed it into place. Now inside of these cages, each one of them has hardware mesh as the floor. Now this is done so that there's not a buildup of manure on the bottom of the cage. Instead, it falls through the grate down onto the ply board that I have underneath it. And that way it can be easily cleaned in the future. The feces accumulates on these drawers and they can simply be pulled out and cleaned without needing to interfere inside the quail cage. Likewise on the sides of the cage, I snipped out more hardware mesh and fixed it into position with either zip ties as you can see here or some PVC coated wire. Now, as you can see here, I also used some of the plywood board that came with the shelf and fixed it into position, acting as a roof for the cage. I also took some of the shelving, ripped it with the table saw and used it to build a back wall. I attached it with some screws and Bob's your uncle. I also took some of this chipboard, which has got a nice thick coating of paint on top of it in order to stop the feces and the manure from sinking into it and just expand the longevity of its life. Ripped it on the table saw. And as you can see there, it slides right into place. I also took some more of my two by four, cut it to length in order to fit the inside dimensions of the shelves and secured it with a screw. This was done in order to build the shelving for the poo boards to rest on.
And there you have it guys, that's how you build your very own quail breeding cage, essential number one. In next week's video, we've got essential number two coming up, as you can see behind me, an automated quail food dispenser. And if you've enjoyed the video, why don't you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification so you can be notified when the next video goes live. Guys, we will catch you in the next one. Cheers.